Hello and welcome to the Merle Lock Podcast. I'm Merle. And I'm Lock. Set sail and low expectations for everything nerd, accompanied by healthy, albeit shameful, healthy, pointless banter, lack of focus, and questionably acquired knowledge. And more. And more. So, Locke, you had a topic for us today. Uh, do you want to tell us what that is? I did. So, it was something that was brought up to me a long while back ago when you and you and I were just considering kicking this whole thing off. So, the idea was uh, that we talk about computers, the building of computers and the benefits of building your own PC versus buying it outright from best buy or hp wherever you want to buy it from all right so if, if we were to take the consideration of buying a fully built pc already the convenience you know is great it's it's got that so you don't have to worry about all the fuss so i've never actually built a pc myself i remember the first time i got a pc i was like 20 something me and my brother we decided that we were going to get these pcs from dell Right, we're gonna get the Alienware PCs. Ooh, spiffy. Yeah, we were like, that's it's like the ultimate, ultimate piece gaming PC. High end stuff. Experience. Yeah. So we went online. It walked us through like building the PC and says like, oh, what specs do you want? And we we went through. We did all the specs and whatnot, and it ended up costing like two grand. And that at the time. I wasn't too well off. My brother was comfortable, so he didn't mind it so much. But I myself, I was like, this is a big, <laughs> big investment. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, okay, let's let's do it. Let's let's rip this band-aid and you know, have at it, get get our PC gaming on. And you know, I bought it and I didn't regret it. I mean I I I loved the PC. It, it was really good, it was high end for the time. But it it was just so expensive to to get that thing, and my brother, my brother's PC, like he had all kinds of problems. Like, <laughs> I mean, that the PC nearly like it nearly exploded. Like everything was going out, and it was really unfortunate considering the amount of money that we paid for these things. But I myself, I had my PC for like I used it actively for like almost ten years. I had my had that PC for a long time, and I just made everything work. I got my money out of it. I'll say that much. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to to notice it. I I think because I know how your brother sets his PC up versus how you set your PC up. I could see why your brothers would blow up. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there trying to overclock his processors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he gets a little carried away. He he makes his PC perform. Oh, he's he's making them work hard. He just he runs those things, you know, at a sprint constantly. And I myself, I don't let background ground processes to happen at all. I delete a whole bunch of different processes going on. Like I have it a very simplistic, you know, one thing running at one time. And it, it works for me. I got a lot of life out of my PC. Like I never I never upgraded it, never did anything to it. Like I just had it for ten years and it ran well enough for me to be able to keep up for the most part with, with a lot of games. Sometimes like I, often I had to like turn down graphics. Some games where you can turn down like foliage, the detail and that kind of stuff, and reflections. And I, I would just Turned down all the non-essential things it's just so my games weren't as pretty as many other people's experiences, but I was actually able to play the game with my friends, you know, as long as I kept it tame. <laughs> Every, everybody else, though, is looking at the game and they're like, wow, this is so pretty, so fascinating. You're like, yeah, it's a game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like it, well, yeah, that was often the thing where people were saying like how 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 detailed it is and this that and the other. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that looks like a blob to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're, you're looking at this like tetrahedron. You're like, yeah, I don't see it. <laughs> I, I don't know what you guys are looking at. But you know, I, I got I I felt like I got my money out of it, and I was really happy with it. And I've gotten to the point now. Where since my my brother he's always upgrading his PC like trying to 
stay up with like the latest, the newest and latest, shiniest stuff for his PC. And so he's constantly having, he has old stuff and he'll like just build PCs out of all the old stuff. And then he'll be like, hey, Burl, do you want, do you want a PC for free? A little hand-me-down? And I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> You're over there just gobbling it up. You're like, yes, please. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and and yeah like i just been taking all the old stuff and now i've i have nice pcs that are tenfold what my old pc was and yeah i can actually play with prettier graphics and this that and the other <laughs> and i've never i've never built a pc i just have gotten hand-me-downs so i i haven't had that experience myself but i also have some of the perks you know, that we were going to get into of having a self-built PC where if I ever needed to upgrade something, I just call up my brother who knows everything about that my PC and I just say, how do I do this? And he just walks me through step by step, like how to replace things or, or put in like an you know, a new graphics card or whatever it may be. He just walks me right through it and job done. Like nothing to worry about. He knows like all my all the specs, all the all the parts that I have on my current PC. So he can be able to cross reference like what what parts will be able to work with the parts other parts that I already have and, and how to build it up. And he does all the research himself. Cause he he loves it. He loves building PCs. And I get the benefit from it, uh, and it's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, with with that being said, would you actually build your own PC, or you just be like, yeah, at this point, just keep letting your brother do it? I mean, like, I, I entertained the thought of building my own PC at one point, but then after my brother started giving me the hand-me-downs, I was like, there's literally no need. <laughs> For me to build my own PC. Because he just told me just as the summer started. He was like, I'm, I'm about to upgrade my sister-in-law, his wife. Uh, he's upgrading her PC. And he's like, she has uh, a really high-end graphics card if you want to if you want to take that and i was like yeah okay sure he's like you just have to upgrade your motherboard as well and i was like oh i don't know how to do that and he's like oh it's easy i'll send you a link and you can buy it whenever you're ready and then i'll just walk you through how to replace it and you can sell the old motherboard and i was like oh okay <laughs> so so i mean i might get a little bit more experience uh, having to do that. You could also give me the motherboard and I'll figure out something to do with it. <laughs> oh, that too. That too. The motherboard I have, he tells me it's a, a difficult motherboard to get a hold of and that it's very popular amongst the PC building nerd community. So it's, it's, a, it's kind of a gem is what I'm told. So I don't know if I'm actually going to try and sell it myself because that... Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. Or, you know. <laughs> so somebody might try to... Uh, Take advantage. Yeah, right. Yeah. They're like, do yeah. you even know what you had? <laughs> 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 I also told him, too, like, I might just, you know, incorporate that into my daughter's PC and, you know, give her my hand-me-downs. Because cause she's using my old Alienware computer at the moment. And she and knows it's a piece of pup. <laughs> yeah, she she's noticed. <laughs> like, like, she's able to play all the games that she wants. Like, all the games she plays, she plays, like, Minecraft and, and, and Fortnite and The Sims and Tycoon games. Hey, Tycoon games were the shit. <laughs> yeah, and it's good enough to run all those. So I don't know what she's fussing about, but <laughs> I mean, whatever. Um, <laughs> to each the road, I guess. She's got high standards. Ever since she got one of those new Xboxes, you know, and with the, like the instantaneous load times and whatever. Spoiled. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't like because my that PC that I gave her, it does take a while to load things up. It's um, it takes a minute. Yeah, uh, I believe it. <laughs> I remember, I remember sometimes like we would have like a game night or something or like we, we would have plans to jump on to do some gaming and somebody would call me up 
and be like, Hey, I'm jumping on. You ready to go? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, just let me uh, boot my computer up and I'll make some dinner quick and, uh, and we'll be good to go. And I boot up my computer and it literally takes my computer to finish booting up. Like f for me to go and cook and eat dinner. And by the time I'm done, the computer's probably done booting All up. Right. <laughs> That's how long it would take <laughs> for that computer to get warmed up. Uh. It, it would take quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of pathetic, but you know, it's it's all it's an old man. He needs to like you know have a little like warm up walk and That's you right. know warm up all the muscles, get things going, get things moving. He can't go like start off at a dead sprint. You know, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna tear some muscles. Um, a poor thing. Yeah, you just you just have to <laughs> just give him some time. <laughs> But uh, you actually just built your own PC, was it this year or late last year? Well, I started building it at the end of last year, and I didn't finally get all the parts until the beginning of the year, like around Christmas time. And then I built Jane Doe's PC as well. So we, <laughs> I got double dosage of building the PC. Now, I had a little issues with mine to start, so I had to confide in your brother a little bit, because I was like, what the hell am I doing wrong? I'm like, no, I know how to put put a PC together, but it's been a hot minute since I, I last put all the pieces back into a PC. And not to mention, uh, my PC has the uh, the glass on the one side, and then it has a panel on the other side. And I didn't realize that. I'm not used to having two ways to access my my parts in the PC. But yeah, no, I, I started with the case, made sure I had to have a case, because you got to have something to put all your parts in. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the, essentially the first thing when you're, like, kind of window browsing. It's like, I need... I need a good body. I feel that's something that you, you start with. Because without that, then you can't even do anything with the parts. Next step is to get the motherboard. I mean, a, a nice second option is probably your power supply. You need storage space. That's why you'll install, whether it's uh, Windows or Linux or... Could you build a Mac? Wait, can you build a Mac? I think you can still build a Mac operating system, or at least use their operating system. Who would want to do that? <laughs> what kind of psycho? I remember the first time I ran into Mac was when I was uh, in college, and I went to the uh, computer lab, and I tried using one of their computers, and it was the Apple operating system. And I could not figure it out. I was having the hardest time trying to because it doesn't it doesn't seem intuitive maybe it's because i was accustomed to windows but you know i i was like i just could not for the life of me figure it out until the point i just gave up and i said well i guess i'm just not going to use the computer <laughs> the last time that i used a a mac computer and it's what made me realize that i wasn't a fan of mac <laughs> was uh, back in one of my music classes, her music teacher, she she liked the Mac system and how how it was set up. And I was like, I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I was like, your taskbar is up above, which, I mean, you could set your windows to do the same. A Linux, you could really set it anywhere. You could set your taskbar off to the right, the left, up top, wow. below. Wow. <laughs> Behind the computer? Could you do that? Maybe. 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 Even. Maybe. Wow. I mean, if if you put another monitor behind it, <laughs> <laughs> you dual go. screen it, and then there you go. It's behind your computer. Nice. I like Linux, but I mean, Linux can be a lot for some people. I never had any experience with it. I remember there was one point where I was redoing my the operating system on my laptop or, or trying to reinstall something, and I was trying to avoid rebuying Windows, and you were trying to install Linux on it. But I don't remember if you 
had forgotten how to do it or if you were missing the proper files or what it was. Oh, the is issue that I had. Yeah, because remember you're trying to put Linux on my piece, my laptop when we were living together? And I don't think that I had the proper ISO file. Because the way that I did it when I was in college, we usually just had a single ISO file on like a USB or something. You put that in the computer, you had to get into your BIOS, make sure that it was loading from your USB or, or disk, whatever it was that you're trying to load from, so that it would recognize that there's a system there. It's been so long, I don't, I don't remember if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I might have had a stroke, you know, while you were talking about all that, because I have no <laughs> idea what the hell you're talking about. Uh, I'm just but... <laughs> speaking Japanese. Uh, so everybody else that listened to that, their eyes glazed over. They have no idea what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'll, I'll say this. So building uh, your PC, I mean, I could definitely see the perks, you know, delving into that and, and learning about more like the technical side of running a, a pc I, I feel like it's 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 cool it's a cool thing it's valuable information uh, a valuable skill to be able to learn it's not for everyone of course uh not not so much for me you know i'm uh, <laughs> uh maybe i just got lucky i never had to like had the necessity to learn the skill which i've been very fortunate with and and i have a, a smart brother who's able to accomplish these things just give me little handouts here and there i mean it's 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 up to the person to each their own i think it's pretty neat being able to you know do it on the cheap uh learning a new skill youtube and you know google if you don't know like what you're doing or if you need some assistance i mean there's lots of tools out there to be able to utilize so going from buying a fully built pc to having one that was, you know, custom built. I definitely prefer the custom built over the pre-made because, you know, limited options and, I mean, you have to pay absurd prices. So I recommend everybody get yourself a brother like mine and um, <laughs> it'll just make things easier on you. Yeah. Or get yourself a nerdy friend or kidnap yourself a nerdy friend. Uh, kidnapping, have him kid, build kidnapping you. is, a, is a solid choice. Absolutely, kid, <laughs> kidnapping's always the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, just what? kidnap your way out. When in doubt, kidnap your way out. There you go. Uh, lesson for the day. There you go. Thank you for joining us on the Marlin Off Podcast. If you enjoyed this banter, please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash Merle and Locke, or simply follow the link in the description. Thank you.